Okay, ready? Hey y'all, welcome to our local flavor kitchen right here in beautiful Branson, Missouri. And today I have my niece Ava with me. They are visiting from Oklahoma City and we decided that we're gonna make some little miniature apple pies. So we're gonna start off, we have our oven preheated to 450 degrees and Ava just informed me, oh, there's our oven, it's ready. <clears throat> she just informed me right before that i don't like any kind of pie she doesn't even like pie so uh we're just gonna have to get everybody else to taste test this <laughs> for us because i said you don't like apples and she said yeah i like apples i just, I just don't, don't like, like pie. pie so okay who doesn't like pie especially if you're in my family how can you not like pie i don't know I don't either. Okay, but anyway, we're just going to show you how to make it anyway, and then we'll just let everybody else reap the benefits. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, tell everybody what grade you're in. I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade. And she, they came up for the weekend to help me out, and Libby's upstairs right now. She's hosting while we're down here. <laughs> All right. So, um, we're going to start off with our oven at 450 degrees, and you're just going to use some refrigerated pie crust, okay? So we're just going to have these out, and can you find me some kitchen scissors somewhere? Oh, wait. There might be some in here. Ah, some right here. All right, so if you want to go ahead and cut that open, we're going to get our pie crust out and let them kind of set out for a little bit and get a little room temperature. All right. And then we are going to cut our apples up. And I've already soaked all of my apples in some warm water and got all the yucky off of them. So, of course, I didn't get that one sticker right there. Didn't want to come off, I guess. All right. And so what we're going to do is I did have an apple core, but I don't know where it's at. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice these up. And um, I'm going to do it just like this. I'm just going to make some some skinny slices like this right here because I happen to have a chopper that uh, I use upstairs and I'm going to use it to make our diced apples so we're going to just slice these into like little thin slices and then I'm going to use my dicer okay so we'll get these sliced up and then we're going to dice them up okay Okay, so we are going to use a little bit of green and we're going to use a little bit of red. And I'm leaving the skin on because I think that it's prettier. And also, I've said this before, my grandma always told me that the skin on things has all of the good stuff in it. All the nutrients and everything you need. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But um, I'm sure somebody will let me know. <laughs> but also, it's just prettier. I think it, it makes it more colorful when you make your pies. So I just sliced them just like that. So if you have the seeds in there, then I just take the knife and just pop those seeds right out onto my uh, little trash pile here, just like that. All right. And sometimes you can even just kind of pop them out like that and they'll pop right out. Maybe not so much, but anyway. <laughs> so if you have like a dicer, some kind of a dicer tool that you want to use, that's fine. Or even if you just want to dice them yourself. But I just happen to have this little, not little, this big <laughs> dicer from upstairs that I went up there and stole. Because uh, this, whoa, come on. Here we go. All right, because this thing just does it. We dice everything with this um upstairs so i'm just going to stick my bowl right under there and since they're in little um slices just like that you just pop them right in there like that look at that and it just makes these little cute cubes look at that isn't that cute so i'm going to finish doing these i'm going to get them all diced up and then we'll go to the next step okay we just got enough right here in our little bowl, just like that. And now we're going to cook these up and um, get those ready for our pie, okay? And then I just usually have this little trick here that I like to do is just have a little trash pile on some foil. And that's all of our trash. And then we're just going to take it, throw it right in the trash, okay? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go over here to the stove and we're going to make our apple mixture for our apple pie. 
Okay, so now we're going to cook our apple mixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about a stick of butter, and we're going to put it on the stove, and I've got it in this little cast iron skillet right here. And we're going to get it good and melted. And to that, I'm going to just sprinkle some of my already made up cinnamon sugar that's in my little shaker. Um, so you can, you don't have to use your cinnamon sugar mixture. You can just do cinnamon. But we're going to do about a teaspoon of that in here. And then I'm going to put about a half a cup of brown sugar. Well, I can find this. We're going to do about a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to get this all mixed together. All right. And you can kind of stir on that, Ava. And then get it melted. And then we're going to add our apples as soon as we get that mixture going. And what we're going to do is just cook these apples down until they're pretty soft and um, feel pretty tender. Okay. And add a little bit of vanilla. So we're all right, so this is what it's going to look like right here. Got our apples going. They're looking nice. And now we are going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla, which remember your cap is about a teaspoon. So go ahead and add that. And then we're just going to let this cook down for a little bit. Apples cooking right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, um, give me those scissors. Good grief, I can't get this out. We're going to take our pie crust, thank you, and get it out roll it out and we're going to put it onto a cookie sheet that I already have ready here and it's already been sprayed with cooking spray. So what we're going to do is make some little tiny pies and we're going to use this which this was Nana Ada's. Yeah so this was my grandma's was a little biscuit cutter or cookie cutter whatever isn't that cute. So we're going to use it and we're just going to make little so if you'll do that make some little round pies and use as much of that as you can. And then, on, you want me to pop them out? I yeah, pop so them out onto our um, cookie sheet there. And then I'm going to take this other pie crust, and I'm just going to make some strips. And just cut. Let me get this all the way. And I'm just going to cut little strips just right along the pie crust. We're going to use those to make a little lattice on our on our little tiny pies. They don't have to be perfect. Just eyeball it. So just going to do some little strips like that. And then Ava's going to make us some little bottoms for our pies. Okay. So she cut all of the holes out and we had, you know, the edges left. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make another little ball and she's going to use our little pampered chef. Whoa! <laughs> our little pampered chef um, pie roller right here. Our baker's roller right here. And roll it out again, and then try to get some more circles out of it, okay? All right, and then I'm going to cut some more apples. All right, so after we rolled out our extra dough there, it made exactly, how many do we have here? 15 of them. So we have 15 little pies, and that was just for one uh, roll of our uh, pie crust. Now we've got our strips cut right here. Got our apples going over here. So we ended up putting about four cups of apple, chopped apples into our mixture here. And they're just cooking slowly until they're going to get nice and tender. Okay, our apples, look at that. Oh my gosh, look how good those look. So these are getting thicker and they've been cooking for just about 15 minutes, okay? So look good, don't they, Ava? Yes. Yes. She does like apples, so she might eat the mixture. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are looking good, and they're just about right. So I'm going to turn the fire off, and then we're going to bring them over here, and we're going to start putting our little pies together. Oh, my gosh. Looks so good. Look at that. Holy moly, that looks delicious. Okay, so now we're going to put our little pies together. We're going to show you how we do that. So we've got our little circles here. And so what we're going to do is you're just going to, don't touch that pan because it is hot. Woo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little mixture and I'm talking like a teaspoon right here like that. And you're just going to put it on each little circle just like that. Okay. So we're going to fill these, we're going to fill them up just like that. And I'm going to let Ava do this. She's going to be our little chef today. <laughs> 
So we're going to do that, and then we'll get these ready, and then we're going to start decorating them with our lattice, okay? Looking beautiful, ma'am. That is looking so good. Okay, so you're going to start putting your lattices on however you want. If you want to, like, braid it or whatever, um, like, do it overlap it or underlap it or whatever you want to do but we're going to just do it the easy way and just kind of do it like that so we're going to get those on and then we're going to kind of pinch the edges with a with a fork okay these are looking so cute now what you're going to do is you're just going to take a fork and then you're just going to mash right around the edges just like that and kind of mash that um, lattice into the edges there just like that just go around each one and kind of press that top right into it just like that how cute are those little mini pies now what you can do is you can get an egg and put a little water in it and make you a little egg wash but I'm not going to do that because I have found something easier and I also took my knife and I kind of went around the edges and cleaned up all of the extra little pieces that were kind of hanging off of each pie so what I have found that is a neat little trick is that you can just take your cooking spray and then just spray over the top of everything instead of doing an egg wash. I just spray the tops of them just like that. Oh, defective, defective uh, button. Good grief, of course. Let's see. Of course, great value. It's not so great. All right, so... Also, I found this. This is also called Crystal Clear twink twinkles, twinkles. Twinkles. And what it is, it is big um, sugar, big flakes of sugar. And it's so cute. And it makes pies. And if you're making a pie, you can put it over the top right before you put it in the oven. And it just makes it so pretty. So we're going to sprinkle this right over the top just like that. And then we're going to pop these in the oven for right about 15 minutes or so. It should not take long at all. So there's our sugar, our big pretty sugar. And put this right in the oven, okay? Okay, so we're, while we're waiting on our pies to get done, we'll just um, find out about Ava here. Ava Monroe, um, she is in the sixth grade. And you just got your braces this year, right? I got my braces on the last day of January, so January 31st. Okay, and how long do you have to keep them on? Uh, I get them off next January. So oh. I only have this set for a year, but then I have to get a full set. Oh, okay. Because my mouth is too small. <laughs> oh, all right. So um, Ava, tell, tell everybody what you, oh, so she's a twin, her, and she's the oldest. And um, tell them your hobbies, what you like to do. I don't know. We don't go roller skating very often, but I like roller You like roller skating? I used to, I I used to go roller skating. So when I was a kid... Um, on Wednesdays, you would go roller skating. Did, on did your mom tell you that? Okay, let me tell you how crazy it was back in the day. <laughs> okay? Uh, Stardust Skating Rink in Muskogee, Oklahoma. A bus, a school bus, would come over and pick us up at the quick carry. And sometimes, I think, sometimes at a church... In the middle of town but they would drop us they would pick us up about five o'clock in the afternoon and we would all go up there get on this bus with god knows who drove it nobody <laughs> didn't even know who drew who drove the bus i mean it was just a random man came and picked us all up we got on the bus i'm not kidding this is a true life drove over to muskogee skate all night um and then they would bring us back and drop us off about midnight and then you would go over to the payphone there at the quick carry and call your home and say, hey, the skate bus just dropped us off, so come and pick us up okay, at midnight. Can you believe that? I know, that's crazy. I mean, can you imagine putting your kids on a bus, like, not knowing who it was? That's how crazy. We, we grew That's why we're so tough. That's why we're tough. So would you do that? Would you just go get on a bus and with a bunch of kids and go? Probably get, not, not in Oklahoma City for sure. Maybe Haskell and Muskogee, but no, not Oklahoma City. But anyway, yeah, I liked. I used to like to roller skate. Um, I tried to. Um, blade. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can you roller blade? I can't. I've never tried it. So I tried to ice skate not too long ago. <laughs> I nearly broke both of my ankles. 
I can't hold all of this weight up on a on a little bitty blade trying to hold my my ankles just went <laughs> just like that. I had to get one of those walkers and walk around the, the whole skating rink. But anyway, so uh, um, anyway, so Ava's a twin and my daddy was a twin. So my sister got the twin gene. Thank God. Could you imagine two Aubreys? No. <laughs> No, we love Aubrey. We love Aubrey. Um, but anyway, so do you like being a twin? Sometimes. Sometimes? Because some, like, people say the more you know us, the more you can tell us apart. And then some of the people we've known for, like, years still can't tell us apart. And they're not even identical. You guys no, are we're not even identical. Livy has blonde hair and she <laughs> has brown hair. They're not even identical at all. I mean, what's helped other people now is that Libby has contacts instead of glasses. And wearing glasses, yeah. yeah. They've always wore glasses. So, anyway, such a good girl. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. They're good, good, good girls. All right, so our pies should be done in just a minute, and we'll show you how cool they look. <laughs> so I'm going to use my little Pampered Chef um, oven mitts, silicone oven mitts, which I call pot grabbers. So I'm going to use these. And I also want to say that I'm going to put my link on here for Pampered Chef products. And Susie, I'm ordering your stuff for you. Um, but anyway, all of the, whatever I make off of my Pampered Chef um, sales this month, um, I have a friend who, uh, Steve from Boynton, Oklahoma, Boynton Cardinals. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he is taking supplies to North Carolina and they're um, gathering stuff up right now for a trip there on, I can't remember what day, the 19th, I think. But anyway, I'm going to donate everything that I make off of my Pampered Chef this month to Steve so he can buy supplies and whatever. They're taking chainsaws and supplies and water and I mean, you name it, they're taking it and they're going to go down there with a uh, convoy and take a bunch of stuff. So everything that you order from Pampered Chef um, and whatever I make off of that will all go to uh, the trip to North Carolina to help with the hurricane victims. So anyway, these are the little um, silicone, uh, what did I say? Oven mitts. And we, did, yep, and we did use our roller, our little uh, um, baker's roller. And there's so many neat things. But I'm ordering Susie the one cup slicer and the mix and chop. So Susie, I am ordering that for you. She um, asked me to do that. And I'm going to put that toward my order for this month. So anyway, we're going to get our pies. Oh my oh. gosh, look how beautiful. Those are so beautiful. All right, so we're going to take these and we're going to put them on this little tray right here. And we're going to take them upstairs and share them with everybody. This is our Pampered Chef, this little tiny spatula. Show them the spatula, Ava. The spatula. I love this spatula. I use it for everything. So that's the spatula that we're using to transfer our little apple pies here. Okay, look at these. Holy moly, those look so good. Now, if you want to get super creative, you can put some caramel on top. So um, I'll take this up with us and we'll see who wants caramel on them. But here, I'll just drizzle some on just so you can kind of see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Actually, let's just go ahead and do it. I think okay. everybody likes it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle the caramel on top of them, and then we're gonna take them up and let everybody try. Oh, looks good. So look at that. These are gonna be perfect. Okay, let's take them upstairs. These are gonna be so perfect if you want to um, take them to a party, because they're just little bite size, and everybody can just pick them up and eat them. And we can do any kind. You can do cherry, uh, peach, whatever you want to do. Still a little hot. Okay. 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 <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. They look like little crackers. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect little appetizer. Mm -hmm. Appetizer. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. These are bad news. I know. Okay, so our apple pies, our mini apple pies, are a huge hit. 
Thanks, Ava.